So this is a view of the, the sternum and the costal cartilages, the cartilages that attach to the ribs. So here you can see the sternum. This is an anterior view of the sternum. And this is the superior, so this would form, this would be where your neck is. And the, the clavicles or your collarbones would attach here and here. So the anterior part of the sternum and then the inferior part of the sternum, which is right at the, you know, right at the top of your, of your abdomen. So there's several parts to the sternum here. So you can see here the most superior part of the sternum is called the manubrium. And then the main part here is called the body of the sternum, the body of the sternum. And then the part that extends downward, this pointy part here extending inferiorly, this is called the xiphoid process. And these brown structures that you can see here represent what are known as the costal cartilages. These are the cartilage that attaches the rib to the sternum. And you can see that the manubrium is for pretty much between rib one and two. And then here you have the body and then the xiphoid process. We're going to look briefly also at, at a typical rib. So this is a rib bone. And this would actually form to the costal cartilage and then it would curve around towards the back, and then this would attach to the vertebrae, to the thoracic vertebrae. So here you can see the rib, right? And this is the anterior portion of the rib and the posterior portion of the rib. And this anterior portion would attach to a costal cartilage and attach like that, and you can see how it would circle around the body and form the thoracic cape.